Andre Agassi was in at least three relationships before getting married to Steffi Graf. He's been the subject of countless romance rumors and scandals, and not everyone is aware of the details surrounding his previous relationships and partners. We'll find out about the stories that surrounded Agassi's love life before marriage, from his open relationship with Wendy Stewart to dating Barbara Streisand. First up, who is Wendy Stewart? In the early 1990s, Agassi began dating Wendy Stewart. Wendy was Andre's childhood infatuation, and the two began an open relationship in 1991 after he saw her at the location where he was filming his Image is Everything advert. She had dropped out of a number of institutions in order to pursue her passion. This is also why they had an open relationship, since she wasn't ready to commit to Agassi totally. After a year and eight months together, they finally broke up. They began dating in November 1991 and ended in July 1993. Agassi claimed he needed two weeks of nonstop tears to heal from his breakup with Stewart, and Barbara Streisand was a source of comfort. Barbara Joan Barbara Streisand, who is an American singer and actress, dated Agassi in the 90s after she divorced her then-husband, Elliot Gould, in 1971. Although she was 28 years older than Agassi, he claimed that age is just a number. Love truly is a beautiful thing. Barbara Streisand is one of the fortunate few who have had the opportunity to use it, and she has done so without hesitation. From the streets of Williamsburg, Brooklyn, to music superstar, actor, director, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award winner and Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient, Barbara Streisand has had an illustrious career. It's likely no wonder, however, that Barbara has had an epic love life, with reported and real-world relationships that surpass anything you'd see in a Streisand film. While the pair dated in the 90s, Barbara could be seen at Agassi's tennis matches, and it didn't go unnoticed when he made gestures to her in the audience. As Barbara arrived to encourage Andre during his games, all eyes were on her. The audience let out a collective scream when they heard her say, One more, baby. Agassi would later describe the two as having a really unique bond, and that Streisand was a genuinely good friend in his autobiography. He revealed that they had a very special friendship, and he couldn't say more than that. Agassi remarked that, like the rest of the world, he was attracted and enthralled by Barbara's voice, and the two laughed off the public's astonishment and dismay at their age difference. Dating Barbara Streisand is like wearing hot lava, Agassi recounted. According to reports, they didn't date for a long period, but Agassi seemed to have really liked Barbara and had a lot of respect for her. Agassi and Brooke Shields first met in 1993 and fell in love by sending long, heartfelt faxes when she was filming in South Africa. They bonded as a result of their common experiences with domineering parents and childhood celebrity status. Shields would often watch Agassi on the court, and he would reciprocate by attending her performances. They were married for two years, from 97 to 1999. Shields admitted once that she felt very protected by him, but also at times controlled. Agassi plainly didn't enjoy Shields' acting choices during one specific scene with Matt LeBlanc on Friends, according to the Endless Love star. Agassi stormed off the set when Shields appeared on Friends as a frenzied fan who licks Joey's hand. When she ran outside to find him, she explained, he claimed that by licking Joey's fingers, I made him look like a fool, so he got in his car and drove all the way to Vegas. He broke all of his tennis trophies once he arrived, shattering them in a rage. Shields felt obligated to replace all of Agassi's destroyed prizes in case he wanted to pass them on in the future, despite the fact that she knew she probably would not be a part of it. She stated, it took me three years to have them all replaced. I've always assumed his children would want them one day. I hadn't considered them to be my children at the time, but it seemed a shame to throw away the legacy. He probably threw them away too, because I had them made. Shields did once reveal that she regretted marrying former tennis ace Andre Agassi. 
The two celebrities were balancing high-profile occupations at the time, which put a strain on their marriage and led to their divorce in 1999. By the time he met Shields, Agassi had established himself as a tennis champion, and the newlyweds were on imposing timelines early in their marriage, with his heavy schedule on the court and her NBC series Suddenly Susan, which premiered in 1996. Shields immediately discovered that being the wife of an athlete came with a set of challenges she hadn't expected. She wrote in her book, It suddenly dawned on me that I had made a mistake. For the next two years, we saw very little of each other. He was competing in numerous competitions while I was working on my program. Once he lost, he alienated me, and when he won, he moved on to the next tournament. We were starting to drift apart. I then began to experience the other side of being an athlete's girlfriend, and now the wife that gets shunned after a loss. Shields often took his silence as directing his blame toward her. She knew deep down that their marriage was in peril, but chose to avoid dealing with it. Overall, the marriage was simply existing, the former Calvin Klein model said, but if it seemed like it wasn't what it was intended to be, it was simple to avoid dealing with it. I believe it was a lack of life rather than a lack of love that caused it. Over time, Shield noticed a pattern with Agassi where his record on the court would have an effect on their relationship. She remarked, somehow, I was made to feel it was my fault. I'd either receive the quiet treatment or a disdainful projection that hurt to my core. When he lost, he would not even look at me or talk to me, rather becoming much more isolated. He had been more open in the past, but he was rapidly changing. Shields wrote about her mother's drinking and how she had become accustomed to dealing with people's mood swings. Agassi hostility felt strangely similar to her. Shields recalled it felt terrible at times, but I waited it out. I was all too familiar with navigating someone else's moods. This would be a walk in the park. To be honest, I nearly enjoyed it. It seemed right and familiar, and the sense of martyrdom didn't hurt. Agassi also admitted that he had been addicted to crystal meth since they started dating in 1993, but Shields insisted on working things out. Shields explained, he told me that he had been hooked on crystal meth for the first whole part of our relationship. When he informed me, he was totally bald and had been wearing hair pieces for most of his adult life, and I was the one who had supported him. Why should this have been any different? Shields claimed she understood addiction as the child of an alcoholic mother and questioned why Agassi hadn't warned her sooner. She recommended they go to couples counseling, but he dismissed the idea. She stated that the emotional gap between them had grown to the point of no return, so they filed for divorce soon after, and in 1999, they divorced. We had love, she wrote, but it didn't seem like it was enough. I've always believed that love was enough, but the fact that we were outgrowing one another and I'm not sure if one of us liked the way the other lived. Despite the controversy, Shields credited Agassi with assisting her in breaking away from her mother. She explained, the whole relationship with him was very crucial. He was my first experience of independence from my mother. He swept me away. It would happen if you said something. There would be an aircraft. Or if I said, I can't believe I have termites, the home would be tented within 24 hours. He's a devoted person, sweet and good, but he had this monster, this disease. But the other side, which is what makes this so difficult, is the way he embraced me, my mother, and anybody else I cared about. He's a wonderful human being. Not long after they separated, Agassi and Steffi got together in 1999 and finally got married in October 2001. What do you think about these ladies that Agassi dated? Comment below.